Alrighty, hey guys, this is R2C3R bringing you guys a new uh, video for today. Uh, today's video is going to be talking about the Chromebook. Um, uh, some people know if you've been on my Instagram or YouTube that I made a purchase for Christmas to get a Chromebook. Well, I got a Chromebook for Christmas and I ended up not really going with the Chromebook. I ended up taking it back and getting the money back and I ended up getting a different computer, a desktop computer for my YouTubing and this video is going to be talking about why I chose to leave the Chromebook. So stick around and uh, maybe you guys will learn something. Okay, so here, okay, so guys, as we all know, the Chromebook is a, a by definition, is a Google computer, right? Uh, it's basically a, a laptop that's run off of Chrome OS. Chrome OS is Google's version of Windows or Mac or um, Linux, basically. It's their software for their computer, and I took... I had a liking in Chrome OS, so I decided to put it on my Christmas list. And when I put it on my Christmas list, I wasn't thinking about all the things that I can and cannot do on the Chromebook. Uh, things like video editing is not what the Chromebook is for. Things like video recording is not what the Chromebook is for. And that's what I kind of needed a computer for, which was those two things. Um, even though I have a computer right now, it's always good to have another one, you know, that you can do extra video editing and things that um, uh, that this computer can't do, I wanted to do on the Chromebook. However, I found out after I got it that I could not do those things. Like, um, there aren't any um, really video editing softwares for the Chromebook. Of course, you have Wii, uh, Wii Video and a few other things. However, they're not as good as Sony Vega Pro, which I use, and they're not as good as... Um, pretty much anything else that I, I uh, my recording software, video dub, none of that stuff. The Chromebook cannot get those things, okay? You cannot download anything on the Chromebook, literally, you cannot download anything. Uh, the music that you have is on the Chromebook that you have is basically all the music that you have on your phone. Um, when you uh, log into your Google account on your Chromebook, because that's what it's ran off of, basically what happens is that everything on your Google account syncs to your Chromebook and that's what that's what's on your Chromebook there are no softwares that it runs and that could be good for some people that it doesn't run any software however for me it was not good because I could not download my recording software I could not download not only my recording software but I didn't have any real video uh, rendering software that I could get because the Chrome OS isn't compatible with anything uh, Elgato K World nothing is compatible with Chrome OS because it's a different software it's a different um, layout so I had to get rid of the Chromebook um on the bright side of the Chromebook there are some things that you can do uh, there's a lot of things it's a Google computer it's fast as a bullet it's actually really fast if you have uh, the right internet like you know uh, Wow TV or Comcast or um, you know AT&T or anything like that then you're pretty much set because the Chromebook is really fast uh, it takes less than 30 seconds just to boot up and log in when you log in it takes less than 30 seconds from the time you power it off to the time you power it on it's a really fast computer um, that's pretty much the best thing about the computer. Depending on which one you get, it's really cost efficient. Um, they have some Chromebooks that run for uh, $180, $125, uh, all brand new. None of them are used. And then you have used computer, which are usually like $110, $117. But yeah, there's a, um, yeah, those are pretty much it, guys. But I did like some parts of the Chromebook, but for the most part, the cons outweigh the pros, and one thing that we don't need when we're looking for computers is for the cons to outweigh the pros, so I had to get rid of it, take it back, and what I did get, I will do an unboxing of, I will not tell you, it's a desktop computer like I told you uh, before when I first started the video, uh, it's a desktop computer, so that's all you guys get to know right now, um, yeah, that's all you guys get to know right now, is that it's a desktop computer, <laughs> uh, so... I'll tell you guys more about the computer that I just got, and I got some new recording uh, equipment as well. I bought a new microphone with the money that I got from my Chromebook. I got a new microphone, uh, some stuff for my camera, a tripod finally because a lot of people were telling me to get a tripod. I got a lot of stuff with the money that I got from the Chromebook while still getting a really good computer. So I'm going to do a review on the computer when I get it. I ordered it off eBay, so uh, yeah, so... I'll pretty much see you guys later. This is R2C3R signing off. And yes, there will be a gaming video later on today or tomorrow. Just not yet. So this is R2C3R signing off. Thanks for watching and listening to my rant, basically. This is R2C3R signing off again.